Hey you guys, I'm Jay. And I'm Lisa. For our simple adventures. Got a noisy truck there. Anyway, we are headed headed north. We are in Belfouche, South Dakota. Just briefly, but we wanted to show you a couple of things. Be right back. So we are here at the Geo Center of the U.S. So it occurred in 1959 in Alaska and Hawaii. We were created, um, joined the Union, that they were using the um, total landmass of all the United States and designated that right here outside of Belfouche was the geographic center of the nation. Yeah, they got a little monument back here. We'll show you. Got the flags of all 50 states. L4, South Dakota. Geographic center of the United States. Compass here. Oh, you can kind of see how they did it there. I guess everything's got to have a geographic center. Okay, guys, yeah, just real quick here. Here's the campground in Belfouche. Um, electric. They do have a dump and water up, up toward the front, the gate. Yeah, here's the lake. Uh, I think we got the very few trees that are even around this lake. Uh, but, uh, yeah, decent campground. Terrible winds come through here, though. Uh, the other day, a couple days ago, it was, it was just gusting rock, or just rock and sustained winds, 30, 35 mile an hour. I had to, I had to park bear right here, just to kind of help the prowler from rocking. So anyway, we will see you in Medora, North Dakota. Oh my gosh, okay you guys, we are in, um, just outside of uh, Teddy Roosevelt uh, National Park which uh, the gateway to that is basically Madura. Little town, 300 and, or 400 and some people in North Dakota. Madura, North, North Dakota. We're about five miles from there at this Buffalo Gap guest ranch. We've got hookups here and good Wi-Fi. I needed to do that because I have to upload some videos. So uh, look, at, look at this. There's, there's Theodore Roosevelt National nice. Park. Sunset going down on the buttes and the bluffs. We're going to go explore that too. And also Madura, which is this cool little western North Dakota town. Got some horses here. We're going to learn more about this. But you know what time it is? What time is it? It is time to put our sticker on. Da 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 da. State sticker ceremony. We were, in, we were in South Dakota for 11 days, two different places. We loved the Black Hills. Oh, yeah, there's... A... Of course the Black Hills are, are great and extra special for us. Are you ready? Yeah, are you ready? <laughs> okay, drum roll, please. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Good job. Here we go. Now we're in North Dakota. Okay, we're going to show you guys uh, Teddy Roosevelt National Park and Madura, North Dakota. Look at this sunset, these horses. This is beautiful. Yeah, my friends, uh, we just left the, the camp site and we're going into Mer Merida. Merida? Yeah, Merida. Look at this little scenic overlook here. Zai 94. Absolutely beautiful. I had no idea. I've never been in this part of the country before. Okay, guys, we are in Medora, North Dakota. Um, this place is hopping, too. Why is it hopping? Well, it's the entrance way to the south entrance of the Tate, uh, Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Yeah, we're going to show you around Medora a little bit. Okay, there's Teddy himself. There we go. A rough rider. Oh. <laughs> All right, right in front of us, we have a chimney 
that is the only thing left of a slaughterhouse that was built here in 1883 by Marquis, Marquis Moret, Moret, a French nobleman. And he kind of, he came here thinking that there was, since there was all this cattle around that uh, if he could slaughter the cattle and have it cut and ready to be shipped in the refrigerated cars back to Chicago and back east, that it'd be more profitable than just sending cattle over there that would lose weight on the cars while traveling and then get paid less um, for the meat because they had lost the weight. So he was thinking that, okay, we'll do the, the slaughterhouse first. Um, it, did, it worked for a couple years, uh, successful for a couple years, but then there was real kind of an inconsistency on the cattle coming through and so it didn't really succeed. And then in 19, I guess it was closed Pretty much about down by 1886 and then in 1907 a fire burned the whole thing to the ground this is all that's left is the is the uh, fireplace and you'll see some of the the brick ruins here so here's here he is actually and you can see okay so it's showing that this was the ice house you can still see the kind of the four corners the brick corners now that the Marquis son, he's donated all this to um, the historical society here in Medora. All right, and looks like these corners here with the slaughterhouse. Actually, Medora is a town of lots of history. A cute little town, very touristy now, but it has lots of history and it began, and of course, because of Teddy Roosevelt coming into the into the area. You kind of see a little bit of the picture with the chimney right there. And the refrigeration cars were just kind of starting out. So he was thinking this was a, a great plan. And they would slaughter about 15 to 20 a day. Okay, something else that uh, Medora is known for um, is the Medora musical. They put on a, a musical every evening. I believe, obviously, just uh, during the uh, the nicer weather months. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right here. You can see the bleachers. There's the stage down there. We we watched a little bit of one on uh, on YouTube. Pretty pretty cool. Pretty fun. All right. So here's here's a little different angle of it. Here's another little angle of it. Got to talking to those folks over there, and it was hard to film. <clears throat> so, all right. All right, let's go find something else. Okay. Yeah, we got the horses over here. Uh, um, there's usually four in there, and uh, and then there's a bunch more over there these there's a there's a, a group over there that goes is going that's staying here and going for uh <clears throat> trail rides and they just left for a, a a sunset trail ride when the two other horses left these two they are jealous they are upset they've been whinnying and and talking and there he goes right now yeah they they don't do that when they're all four together so Okay, you guys, we, we are here. We're at the park. Theodore Roosevelt National Park. We're at the visitor center first. There's, there's the entrance right there. We're going to be going this way. All right, this should be pretty cool. Okay, we're still right by the visitor center. This is the Maltese Cross Cabin. Um, this was uh, Roosevelt's home here. His first temporary home before he actually built the other one. Yeah, let's go take a look inside. Some stuff carved in here. I can't read what it is though. Okay. There's his book, his book hutch. Authentic. Rocking chair. I'm a rocker. I like to rock. Like like Teddy Roosevelt did. Cook stove. Well, I guess you warm up your coffee up there. What's he cook on? 
his writing desk. Oh, here we go. Here's the kitchen right here. There's a stove. Pretty rustic. So we're here a bit. Only room left would be the bedroom, right? Yeah, there's a the bedroom. Plexiglass here, glass. Here, glass. Pretty amazing. Apparently this cabin was seven miles south of this location. They moved it here. Yeah, all kinds of initials here. Teddy plus Alice. Just kidding. Okay, let's go drive the park. Let's see this. Let's see this magnificent park. Let's do it. Okay, so the first of our wildlife is the wild horses. The whole herd of wild wild horses out here. It's just a few. Looks like this is a prairie dog prairie dog town here too. It, well, yeah, it looks like it, but I don't, it doesn't look active right now. So, but definitely looks like it's a prairie down prairie dog town. Oh, I do see one. You can see it. Right there, up on the other side of that sign, oh, yeah, yeah. sticking on top of the mound there. Yeah, he's just watching. Okay, here's a here's a herd that dwarfs that uh, herd we saw at Custer State Park. Look at this, kicking up dust out there. All these bison. A bunch of them just came across the road in front of these cars up here. Some over here too. Pretty impressive. It wasn't wasn't our day to be surrounded today, but that is a that is an impressive that looking herd. It is awesome. Okay, climbing up the hill, kind of in the distance. But if you can see, there's. One right there, and there's one other one over there. Two look like they're pronghorn. I'm not seeing any other around. Okay, look, look at these unique uh, rocks. It's kind of a hard sandstone, isn't it? Is that what they said? Well, yeah. And Covering then, the clay dirt? Yeah. Then they have the flat rocks on top are a hard stone. I can't remember what they said that they're called. And it protects the the sandstone below. Okay, this looks like a little bit of a view. Yeah, tomorrow we're headed into Montana. If you see over here, the very rare hot-baked Italian, Lisa. Passed me by the night 